What's good? It's your boy I see Josh back at it again with another video. And man, I just gotta go ahead and say sorry for the late video. We did have some technical issues yesterday. They were actually performing some like routine maintenance on our internet, and we didn't have internet for literally the whole day. And I just got it back earlier this morning. So do apologize for no videos uh yesterday and stuff like that. But we back here with another video today. And if you're new to the channel, you like what you see subscribe turn on notifications where you get notified when we go live and put up more videos fam i'm telling you right now i think we're like 26 000, like almost 25,600 plus and we really close to 25.7 but low-key i think we can get 26 really really quick the way it, it's going right now so if you're new subscribe turn on notifications like share all that good ish now let's get into the video all right so basically what we should be looking at for global dokkan battle and upcoming schedule i mean i don't think it's any shocker right now that this banner is probably going to be an extreme hard skip for everyone just because one none of these units that are returning on these banners and stuff like that should get easy a's this year now i'm not going to sit here and say that no one will because they've done it before where they've gave easy a's earlier than expected but in terms of the timeline and how everything is i think most of these units uh well a couple of them obviously came out last year and stuff like that but some of the older ones there like uh, raditz and ginyu i came out i think in 2022 and stuff like that so they're not due for an easy a and anything that's obviously came out that's newer than that shouldn't get an easy a either but the way that they are they could probably get something an easy a at any point in time and really besides like pure sands and stuff like that uh ginyu doesn't really have any sort of buffs that's been happening for him i don't i don't necessarily think and everything else even from turles besides i'm gonna say right now besides the yamcha because if i'm not mistaken videl it's it's her year videl to get an easy a so she could possibly get an easy a and at all uh take ultimate gohan and that could like be pretty crazy for even just earthling sort of category as well so i'm not going to rule that out right now because like i said earthling category could get pretty spicy depending on the units that we do get and stuff like that going forward and also after like the big celebrations and stuff like that we could get some uh solid and i do mean some absolute solid support for a bunch of other these units but for currently right now for global dokkan battle this you this whole banner is an absolute skip like like i said there's there should be really no value in terms of dragon stones and to be real i'm i'm already looking at this banner like uh hell no just because i went 1250 deep on rose and not even a copy of them so i'm like at this point i'm like yeah all these uh pre ninth year anniversary banners and stuff like that i might stay clear away from and that includes tickets and stuff like that i might just take advantage of the sales just so i can get all my dragon stones that i lost back i shouldn't say lost rose beat me up for him so i'm and i'm by the way i'm back from my extended vacation from shaft city the the, the next time the next one that i went in i'm pretty sure i'm probably going to be due for another one before the anniversary which i'll take i'll take another trip to shaft city before the anniversary i'll 100 take that but let's get into everything else so as you should know it should be gohan and piccolo next and then after that is when we get into say day which again is another global jp uh cell joint celebration so i'm gonna say in this one and again this is a 318 so this is pretty much less than a month from now we should get another absolute banger unit to come out on global and jp dokkan battle and since this will be after the ninth year anniversary on jp side uh yeah these the unit here is usually incredibly good i mean as you can see uh god goku you know how good god goku is like the unit is probably going to be absolutely uh amazing and the easy a's that we could get uh could be even more of a banger and to be real with you like i wouldn't be surprised if we got another broly i wouldn't be surprised if this is the year of broly because we did get just a crazy broly unit there's still the actual tech broly that needs easy aid from dragon ball z and then also i think at this point in time now i think enough times pass where the intelligence broly uh, that we got from say a day should get an easy aid as well so i wouldn't hold my breath for another one but it could be a situation where we just get another e uh saying but then broly gets easy aid out of it that could happen like i said there should be a decent amount of easy aids that kind of come with this if i'm not mistaken yeah you get an lr and then you get two uh other units as well too and there's some returning so yeah i wouldn't be surprised 
if we do possibly get some kind of a crazy unit and maybe some Broly's easy eight. That's just my wish list because the way it sort of is set up right now, like I said, it should be Gohan, Piccolo, and then we should get to say a day. And then right after say a day, uh, I think uh, Golden Week is, I want to say late uh, April or close to mid April or something like that. Uh, let me let me look that up before I give it some false information here. All right, I was right. Uh, so again, late April is when uh, Golden Week should be. So that actually gives us a little bit of time in between uh, certain uh, events and stuff like that. So we should have another banner that should come out. Now, what should probably come out in between the Goku and Harugan and also Golden Week and stuff like that, I'm going to assume we should get maybe a, a carnival banner or like a double rates banner uh, that should pop off at some point in between that on global Dokkan battle. That's usually what they do that like to throw something out in between that. It's not like super hype. And then uh, you go into another joint uh, sort of event where we have a bunch of crazy stuff popping off and stuff like that. So with a uh, golden week and then after that, we should get into uh, Harutagon and also Super Saiyan 3 goku which again is probably going to take some people's money just because uh beast gohan stock is kind of rising and that's right before the anniversary so beast gohan stock rising i mean orange piccolo stock loki kind of rising as well too because you kind of really need him to do uh the ultra super attack so it's stock kind of rising there with gohan and plus he's not a chump now again in some harder events and stuff like that but you still have beast go on it's going to be your first slot so piccolo should be uh pretty solid uh, on a lot of uh, events and stuff like that and again unless type disadvantage and i've seen some of them units for super attacking and all that stuff doing two three million damage so uh, it's a toss up on that one but like i said if gohan's one getting super attacked all the time then you're pretty much good and also his active seal still comes out pretty clutch sometimes but that's pretty much how it's going to be looking out for global dokkan battle uh currently right now like i said we should have two major uh hype events not as hype as again an anniversary or a worldwide celebration but they're the subpar sort of hype that they're like it's like 1a and then like 1b and these are like the 1b sort of things so i'm pretty hyped for this to see what the units are going to be for this on global and jp dog about it once we get to them but like i said we should have two more hype sort of points where most people are probably either going to summon whether it's dragon stones like come off some dragon stones especially if you ain't getting shafted on every banner that you're really like saving up for and summoning on with tickets and stuff like that uh pretty much they're probably going to be some uh top grossing banners and pretty much some banger units that are either probably going to be a must-have uh because they may buff certain units and stuff like that later but we'll just have to see uh what happens with that one but if you did enjoy this video hit that like button subscribe turn on notifications other than that stay safe and i'm out peace yo no i ain't the type to give up if i do something man i do it till i get what i want i turn a business out of nothing into something i love i got a poker face but honestly i'm not one to bluff i flip a switch never miss man i always stay up don't let them see you bitch